Let's take a brief tour of some changes in Jira Cloud. Aside from the minor navigation and interface changes described in other videos in this series, there are a few functional differences worth exploring. In Jira Server, administrators could define individual priority options for each project. Currently, this capability doesn't exist in Jira Cloud, which means all projects in your Jira Cloud site share the same priority options for their issues. When viewing the list of dashboards in the system, the Jira server links for My Dashboards and Popular Dashboards have been replaced in Jira Cloud by filters that enable you to display dashboards by owner, project, and group. Your favorite dashboards are indicated by a gold star beside the dashboard's name. By default, a Jira Cloud project can only have one active sprint. To run multiple active sprints in a project, your Jira administrator must first enable parallel sprints for your Jira Cloud site. Once enabled, all Jira projects can run parallel sprints. One of the most significant differences between Jira Cloud and Jira Server is that in Jira Cloud, only Jira administrators can create classic projects. This restriction was implemented so that administrators could more easily manage the growth of their Jira instance and propagate consistency among projects. However, if your administrator has enabled next-gen projects in your Jira Cloud site, then any user can create a next-gen project. Next-gen projects are similar to classic projects, but have a streamlined configuration model and a simplified workflow. Jira administrators can enhance Jira's functionality by installing third-party apps that are available in the Atlassian marketplace. However, some third-party apps that were built for Jira Server may or may not be available yet for Jira Cloud, or may have changed for Jira Cloud. Ask your Jira administrator about any changed or missing app functionality in your cloud site. Atlassian is continually working to improve and enhance Jira Cloud based on user feedback, so be on the lookout for new features and functionality as you continue to work with Jira Cloud. Be sure to check out other tutorials in this series to learn more about Jira Cloud.